skip that turn and hit next turn. I hope you guys are enjoying the variety stuff once again. Um, tomorrow, I want to try and get some more CSGO going. Um, if not tomorrow, then in the near future, because you guys really enjoyed the last time I did some CSGO. So, I want to just give what the people want as per usual. So, let's repair the sugar. Let's attack this caravel. Let's shoot the caravel. And let's repair. Maybe do I wanna nah, we're just gonna have to build a navigation school, I guess. Although it's not exactly ideal. 18 turns kinda sucks, but we're gonna have to repair that shipyard as soon as we are able to to help out with the production once again. Spearman just hopped off of its barbarian encampment, which wasn't very smart, so we will finally, finally take care of that encampment and not make it so that it stops spawning these dang boats around my empire. It's been super annoying and super inconvenient. Look at that boat. It's freaking my musket now. So annoying, bro. Let's get a quick promotion on that musket so it doesn't die. We will get the gypsum there. And now, let's get square rigging so we can get a frigate as well. Um, I'd love to be able to explore all the way over here, but it doesn't look like the, uh, the creed Let's become friends with the Incans, though, because we can. And sure, we'll form a religious alliance and see if they'll pay for it. They will indeed, so we'll go for that. Let's also try to sell off some of our luxuries. So let's see. You'll take tobacco for nine gold per turn. Dido. Do you want Rani? No, you do not. How about Scotland? Do you want anything? Do you do you want pearls? You will take some pearls, okay? I'll do that's all I'll do for now, because we are struggling on the amenities the as it is. And oh wow. Bumbukale is I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what we just found. Let's continue to attack the caravel over here. And I think this crossbow should finish it off. Let's see. That caravel off. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it's not quite, meaning it's probably gonna pillage my freaking harbor once again. <sighs> really annoying, I can't lie. But we do have another farm triangle going over here, which is very, very nice for us. But we do have to start getting some more trade routes going in our entire empire. Really sucks that we unable to do that at the, at the moment, but we'll try to take care of that as soon as possible. Not a whole lot of production going on in some of my, uh, some of my cities, which is a bit of an issue. Okay. This freaking frigate is so annoying, bro. Let's take care of the caravel. We will get our now now is probably going to have to go all the way over here to take care of this frigate. Now this builder, what can you do? I might wait till this frigate's done to repair the pearls that we have. And I might just reinforce my musketman so it doesn't die. Because that would suck if that were to happen. Now here I think is where I'm going to start bumping out traders. Let's build a farm here as well. Just really, really help out with the growth of this city. Um, and, ooh, you know what? Here we could build, could build an industrial zone. I feel like that would be pretty nice. I think I am gonna wait to build the industrial zone in Lisbon though, because I think if we build it on this exact tile, we'll be able to really help out with the production of all of our cities around here. So we will hold off on that. 
Suzerain of Auckland because, um, well, that would really help us see as it, we have a lot of our cities on the coast, so I'm definitely going to go for that. Um, this builder, maybe we'll just make it build another, actually no, let's make it repair the tobacco first, then we can build one more farm with him or something of the, of the sort. We'll get this guy, this can you to continue to 
just met Australia. Where the heck is this guy? Oh, and we met Sweden. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't know how we ended up meeting them, but cool. <laughs> Very cool. Now, let's get you to reinforce it. Another 
is starting to get juicy, guys. Let's build a shipyard in Visu and repair the shipyard in Becha. We'll try to get open borders. Oh, we actually have open borders with Mapuche, so we'll just wait for that scout to step into the, those borders there. And this musket men, honestly, I might just get him to reinforce himself into Ponte Delgado. He isn't really needed right now. I'll build up the mine over here starting to up the production rate into Porto now. And now we can start chopping the woods. Can we get a... Ooh, you're gonna have to wait till we get four population here, it looks like. So, we have some extra production. Let's put them into some walls, maybe. Or, nah. Nah, let's, let's put it into the lighthouse. Yeah, let's put it into the lighthouse. That'll get us even more tree root capacity, which is absolutely fantastic. We love to see it. Another navigation school being built in Avora. Another navigation school being built in Bragancha. This science output is really starting to pick up. We've got campuses being built in both of these cities as well. It's absolutely what you love to see. Um, we're getting a lot of Eurekas as well, which is going to help us out a lot. Let's go for printing. We'll go here. Ooh, um, what do we want to start building in here? We actually have a nice little city in the Arctic over here in Evora. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for a consulate over here. Might as well. Shipyard would be nice to start getting built over here as well. We could also build a dam, which would be nice. Yeah, let's just build the shipyard up in Ponta Delgada. Ponta Delgada, excuse me. I don't know why it's letting me going into these borders over here, so let's just go around, I guess, with this scout, and we'll just continue to... Ooh. Ooh, there looks like there's some little islands over here. It would be... You know what? Might be dumb, but let's just purchase a settler over in Bracancha, because honestly, it would be pretty nice to get another city down over there if we're able to would be very very nice let's just keep getting more cities going the more the merrier honestly this builder now what should this builder do you know what there are a few tiles over in Avora that could use some um, chopping like this um this woods could get chopped or we could even turn it into a lumber mill we could chop the woods over here yeah yeah let's definitely do all that oh wow absolutely massive there is coal that has spawned over here so we're gonna chop the woods and build a coal mine oh my god this city ended up being really really solid i'm so glad we ended up building this we just need like something for some is why I'm very excited to start getting um, oh wow people are already wanting to buy our coal I'll definitely go for that which is why I'm really excited to get St. Basil's Cathedral built over here in the near future we'll have the option to get it going in four turns which will be incredibly incredibly useful for us let's chop the woods that's going to help with the production on the lighthouse we could even if we wanted to maybe try and get colossus built over here but nah probably not the best idea let's just go for the shipyard as that is going to really help us out with even more production let's go for astronomy over here the scouts could just keep on exploring and let's see what we're dealing with over here that is a oh my god we could get a an absolutely massive campus going over here. I'm really glad I jumped the gun on the settler because that is looking like a plus four campus we can build right there. Holy smokes. That would be very sick. This is like, it's so funny how we're kind of making a crazy, like realistic Portugal. We're like on the coast. Um, we're like settled all on the coast here. Plus we've got little islands that we're going to be settling, which I think is so, f so freaking cool. Okay, looks like there are some civilizations that are really liking to buy our strategic, so I will not complain about that whatsoever. We can definitely sell those off to whoever is willing to purchase them. And honestly, we could just keep on building um, traders as well to 
episode. Oh my gosh, there's another coal tile in Tamar as well. We're definitely going to have to maybe purchase a builder over here. But you know what? I think I'm going to do just that. Let's purchase a builder. And we will also purchase another trader over here. We can get a great admiral, which honestly, I'll pass on that one. It's a pretty bad great admiral, so too interested there. We'll keep getting this now to explore. Wow, I'm very excited to get a city going over here. We could even maybe settle on the on top of the coffee. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But let's okay and put our concha. Let's build a lighthouse. Definitely build a lighthouse over there. And let's get this cool coming out of this city. This is going to be an insane city if we're able to get St. Basil's Cathedral, bro. An absolutely insane city. We're getting the shipyard going as well. It's going to be a production monster over there. Sweden wants to buy some coal from us as well. Let's see if she wants niter. We'll keep selling that. Okay, she doesn't want niter at all, looks like. We'll also give open borders. We give us a little more gold. Okay, four gold per turn. Seems fair to me. Look at this gold. 549 gold per turn. Honestly, once this campus gets built, I might just be able to... Oh, there we go. There's Mausoleum. But we'll just be able to purchase everything, like the, the, uh, the lighthouse and the navigation school immediately in Lisbon. Let's get this industrial zone built, finally. I'm going to want to... Ooh, should I... Or should I build it over on this mine? You know what? Let's tr let's swap this tile. We're gonna build the industrial zone on this tile. And the reason I, I want to do that is because this aqueduct is gonna provide some good adjacency bonuses to the industrial zone. Plus, I can get another aqueduct built here. And sure if it's possible but if we, if we can get a dam right there this would be an insane insane industrial zone for us let's continue to send these traders out let's send it to axu it gets us another three gold or uh, three science per turn rather if we're getting us three gold per turn that would be a pretty crappy uh <laughs> trade route but here we go another city going over here and we're probably gonna get a nice turtle city. Wow. Absolutely wonderful. You love to see it. Let's definitely chop the woods over here. Let's um, what do we want to do here? We could get another lumber mill going if we wanted to, but for now we'll leave it. I'd want to, if it was possible, I'd be building farms here, but it's just not, which sucks. Okay, Scotland wants to do a military alliance. Will you pay uh, yeah, I guess we'll pay just 14 gold, which isn't much. It's pennies to us right now, but hey, still gold. Okay, so there's Reforms Church when possible. We're going to try. Okay, so it's only in four more turns. We're going to try and get St. Basil's Cathedral going in here. New government. Now we don't want to. We don't really need a new government style at the moment. This scout has done all thing over here, but let's maybe build a lumber mill there. We'll chop the woods over here, I think. Now we can finally get a settler going in on the city. I'm not sure if I should build it. Oh, is this tile about to be... Oh, this tile's flooded. Oh, dang. Well, we could still get a campus built here, it looks like. And that would still Oh, that kind of sucks, though. We're not going to be able to get a plus four JCC campus, but we could still get a plus two. So we're definitely going to go for that. Let's also just explore. It would be kind of cool if we could get another city on this island, but probably not going to be able to do that. Wouldn't be uh, a very good city, honestly. And now we can get a coal mine built here. That just helped out 
chop out the uh, what's going on in there, and now we can settle our little island city over here and start constructing the campus. I think what we want to do is get Magnus over into that new brand new city, Coimbra, and start chopping. chop the woods on that dial but we will see in the near future also can we promote oh, plenty, plus 20 percent growth in the city your triggers ending you provide plus two food to their starting city okay well maybe we should start purchasing trade routes over here let's definitely go for that um this now is going to start getting some Start. 